everyone this is Aisha Mubarak Ali I'm a fusion tech artist and a creative director my interest is in technology and its fusion with innovation so I find new ways of collaboration because I believe that interdisciplinary approach is going to be the single most important thing for us to navigate the next decade at least and even forward so the project that I'm currently working on is a collaborative project I would call because I'm designing like 12 different projects which is going to turn into 12 different episodes and the idea is to invite uh, you know tech enthusiasts, the innovators, artists and visionaries, thought leaders in a single room. Obviously it's going to be planned each and every episode uh, will have a structure but the idea is to talk about the important things, important things like space applications, like 3D printing. It's, it's an amazing technology, frontier technologies like artificial intelligence, machine learning, collection, all of these topics which are really relevant today. So the idea is to not just talk about them, not just give a very theoretical uh, statements and, and, a, and a very like straightforward discussion with these people, but to bring them in a discussion where you know it's not just a course it's not just like a podcast but you know people are sitting together from different fields from different backgrounds and they're exchanging thoughts they are actually doing hands-on some sort of project for example just imagine an, an artist who works with multidisciplinary uh, you know installations is working with a data analyst and there's also a biomedicine associated uh, you know person in the room so what would they will do and uh, how they would engage and how they would come up with the project is something that i want to uh, get involved with and i want to direct these this kind of content because the the good thing about this is that yes there's a direction there's some level of uh, you know scripted content there is some level of outline for each idea and each uh, episode that we want to shoot but at the end of the day everything that we get out of it it's really going to be unique also the way we want to shoot it this structure if i talk about it it's going to be that you know this is going to be like a, a very futuristic environment it's going to be like a show in that sense where people are invited they come in in that innovation lab sit together have a discourse and i will redirect the conversation like today's topic is this and we're talking about simulation and metaverse but then also at the same time if you have someone with, with the with the knowledge of astrobiology right so then then how do they come together and take the take the lead and have a project and now these kind of projects because we're talking about innovation we're talking about philosophy we're talking about and the psychology and psychological impacts of technology as well not just the ethical side so i think it's important to give that space to each of the uh, you know uh, featured person who we have on the show as a contestant to have their side of the story and their point of view and the interesting thing is that i haven't seen enough examples like this if i want to do such projects i haven't uh, done uh, i haven't seen enough people you know collaborate in a way where you know you reach out of your comfort zone out of your industry and myself as an artist and a creative director i haven't seen enough examples where you know artists have worked with a biologist an engineer be a sociologist a philosopher i mean where are those interaction i think true magic can happen if we showcase that uh, example i have a project that i recently worked on uh, uh, called sentience of light and it involves the uh, the standpoint of an artist with a data scientist and with a light pollution researcher and that's quite interesting because how do you bring all of these different professions complex ideas together and we created a beautiful body of 3d printed works which actually mapped these species which are already you know they are getting distinct because of the light pollution so we give and we gave the the entire idea visibility through this approach so it's definitely a very strong approach and i think an entire show can be dedicated to this we can involve a global community uh, we can even uh, you know create a lot of side projects through this like just imagine the people who are invited let's say four people are invited per 
episode and they come together and they create something now that uh, film or that body of uh, artistic work can even become a separate project and that's quite interesting because the futuristic projects what would that be and how would we be in space these are the kind of questions that we all need to think about and the project that i'm working on like i said these 12 episodes of the first season is going to address exactly that so yeah really looking forward to this